Hi, my name's Chantelle Delaney. I'm a certified herbal practitioner and the product educator for M Squared Brand Management. So 2023 is here. It's that time of year where we set some intentions to improve our health and well-being going forward. So today's topic is starting the new year off right. Actually, right now we're nearing the mid-January mark, which is usually when we're off to a pretty good clip with resolutions, but in another month that might look a little different. So this is a really great time to ask yourself how sustainable your health goals are. So my advice to starting the new year off right is to set achievable goals, set yourself up to stay motivated and stick to those goals and choose some simple ways to improve your health without overcomplicating things. So New Year's resolutions can be tricky things for most people, and I think that's because we don't always set realistic goals for ourselves. So small positive changes to our routine are really the best first step towards realizing our health goals, and I'm a big fan of keeping things simple. So I like to take supplements with a specific purpose in mind and switch them up as needed instead of adding more to my daily routine. I find it way easier to also maintain a simple, straightforward diet over a complicated one that might I'd include like tracking and counting and things like that. And when it comes to exercise, I like to choose activities that don't require a lot of planning or preparation. These are really simple ways that I can stick stick with my goals throughout the year without losing steam or getting unmotivated to show up or follow through with things. So lots of people like to start the new year with a cleanse or a detox because it feels right to do something of like a 180 after some potential overindulgence from December, but as your friendly neighborhood herbalist, I'm telling you that winter is not the best time to do a detox or a cleanse. Uh, it's not a great time to use powerful, like stimulating herbs and laxatives or extreme diets. Winter is all about restoration with a focus on the root of that word, which is rest. So instead of quickly purging your body of toxins, you should be supporting your body's own ability to remove toxins gently and gradually. Quick purge cleanses like your 12 and 7 and 15 day kits or fasting and juice cleanses can work well to purge your body of waste, but they can cause stress to your body by re-releasing stored up toxins into the bloodstream and after, often overstimulating your liver and kidneys after a period where they've typically already gone through a little extra stress. So those types of cleanses are best saved for spring and fall if you choose to do them at all, which you really only should if you have a strong constitution. Uh, for, me or, for me personally, after nearly 20 years in this field, I, I believe these kinds of stimulating cleanses are almost never necessary. I much prefer to support your body's own processes with gentle detoxifying herbs and rebuilding um, and healing herbs on a regular basis. So I like to cycle my supplements with the seasons and as needed depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm extra stressed or not sleeping well or perhaps dealing with some pain or other things. So. In general, I like to stick to restorative supplements, healing supplements in the winter, like liver tonics and adaptogens and mood boosters. So things like milk thistle and functional mushrooms, ashwagandha, uh, B complexes and vitamin D. So adaptogens and liver herbs are really where it's at in January. I've been loving uh, Land Arts Milk Thistle for the liver. It's really easy to use. You just take 10 milliliters a day away from food. And this extract is awesome because it's super concentrated. In a 10 milliliter serving, you're getting over three full grams or 3,000 milligrams of the milk thistle herb. This is much more than you would ever get from a pill or a tincture. So milk thistle contains a compound that's very special. It's called silymarin. That is the only natural, naturally occurring compound that stimulates your body to create healthy new liver cells. In fact, a lot of pharmaceutical drugs that are created for liver regeneration are modeled after silymarin. So milk thistle protects the liver while helping it to heal and improve your body's own detoxification abilities. It's really the mother of all restorative herbs and it's an excellent one for this time of year. Another great restorative detoxifier is reishi mushroom. There is a great new company that you can see here uh, from here in BC called Optimize Health. They make really great quality mushroom supplements. This one is called Longevity and it is 500 milligrams of pure fruiting body reishi extract. And they make their reishi extract with a hot water extraction, which is the absolute best way to prepare reishi. 
So reishi mushroom is an adaptogen, so it's good for all body systems. It's got uh, hepatoprotective qualities, which is basically liver protective qualities, and it contains uh, high levels of triterpenes, which helps to encourage healthy liver function as well. Reishi is also great for bolstering immunity, so it's great for preventing illness and aiding in recovery from illness. And it's also a really good one for anybody who's feeling any kind of burnout. Now, if you've packed on a few extra pounds than you'd like and are hoping to shed those for the new year, there are some really excellent ways to boost your metabolism and balance your blood sugar using herbs, food, and activity. There is no magic pill that will make you lose weight and keep it all off on its own. It really just takes good old-fashioned healthy foods, good fats, and adequate exercise. So these methods are the most practical and the most sustainable ways to achieve and maintain your, your ideal body weight. Metabolism plays a big role in healthy weight management and it does tend to be more sluggish in the winter time. So the best advice I can give you to boost your metabolism is to eliminate sugar from your diet and increase healthy fats. So uh, it's often commonly referred to as a ketogenic diet and I'm following a keto diet closely and being in ketosis works really great for many people but it doesn't necessarily have to be that regimented for those of us who don't have the motivation or the time to follow a strict diet or to monitor our state of ketosis. So everyone can benefit from just simply increasing their healthy fats intake and removing sugars from their diet. It can really be that simple. Healthy fats help to reduce inflammation, they balance your blood sugar, they promote good gut flora and hormone response, and they help to encourage a healthy appetite. So by healthy appetite, I don't mean that you're gonna wanna eat more, I mean you're going to eliminate food cravings and you're gonna feel hungry or full when it's appropriate, when you are actually hungry and full. Uh, the byproduct of a healthy appetite, a healthy gut, reduce inflammation and balance hormones is your body's ideal weight. So an easy way to increase your healthy fat intake is to take a good quality omega-3 supplement like Aqua Omega. I'm a big fan of this one, the daily maintenance ones these days. It's got 2,450 milligrams of omega-3 per serving, so it's a nice high dose and it's super easy. You can also add MCT oil to your diet, whether it's in your coffee with grass-fed butter in the morning or simply adding it to your diet elsewhere like salad dressings or drizzles or light frying, etc. Um, a note on MCT oil, they are not all created equal and you definitely get what you pay for. So I choose bulletproof oils and here's why. They've got two, um, but MCT oil from coconut oil is kind of a blanket term and it's made up of different types of fatty acids. So in general, most MCT oil is made up of about 50% lauric acid, which really does nothing for your body nutritionally. About an 18th of MCT oil is something called caprylic acid. Now this is the good stuff, and Bulletproof's Brain Octane Oil is 100% caprylic acid from coconut. So they, they isolate the caprylic acid out of a typical MCT oil. So this is the part of coconut oil that's good for your brain. It's the part that crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's also the part of coconut oil that combats candida albicans, otherwise known as yeast. So yeast overgrowth is especially common after the holidays because of excess sugar and alcohol consumption. It changes in diet. Um, if you have yeast overgrowth, you will want to lose some weight probably. You pretty much have to get that under control before you'll achieve any sort of sustainable weight loss. And yeast overgrowth in the body looks like lots of different things. Um, it can be brain fog, it can be bad skin, it can be bad sleep, uh, lethargy, difficulty losing weight, things like that. Now Bulletproof's other MCT oil is simply called MCT oil. This one is a blend of caprylic and capric acid. Both come from exclusively from coconut oil. So those two acids together uh, would make up about a sixth of your typical MCT oil. So again, they're extracting those unique properties of MCT oil, the active part of MCT oil. The other five-sixths of MCT oil would be a mixture of lauric and caproic acid, which is another component of MCT oil that has no nutritional benefit. So keep this in mind when you're shopping for MCT oils because when you compare the costs and consider what you're getting for your dollar, you'll probably pick Bulletproof every time, or at least you should, because there's a legitimate difference between them and the other guys because they remove those components of MCT oil that are useless filler. 
So starting each day with a bulletproof coffee, so coffee blended with grass-fed butter and MCT oil, is a really kind of positive routine that you can, you can start doing. It'll help you get into that nice routine, plus the drink helps you to feel more energized and clear-headed. Uh, focused and satiated and odds are you're already making a coffee first thing in the morning anyway so it's a really easy way to get all of those things into your diet without having to really change up too much and for that routine to really work for you it's vital to have very little sugar in your diet even in the form of carbohydrates so um, and of course you want to have a good healthy amount of fat so I up my fat intake by adding avocado slices to soup or other meals. I drizzle olive oil or MCT oil over roasted veggies or whatever else I might be eating. And whatever protein I have for dinner, sometimes I'll serve it with a square of grass-fed butter on top. And sometimes I'll mix different herbs in it like garlic or sage or basil depending on, on the recipe. And if I have a day where I don't feel like I've eaten enough fat, a teaspoon or two of the brain octane oil will suffice. Something that often goes in hand with MCT oil or people that like the, the bulletproof coffee in the morning is collagen. So you don't necessarily need to have collagen with MCT oil, uh, but there are benefits to adding a daily dose of collagen to your morning routine no matter what you're doing. So collagen is really good for healthy weight management because it's very healing to the gut and you can't have good health without a healthy gut. Uh, collagen naturally contains an amino acid called L-glutamine, which works to heal the gut lining. Plus, it's a great source of protein without any sugar or carbs. So these days, my favorite collagen comes from Ancient Nutrition. I've got a bottle of it here. It's this one here. Um, this brand has a line of benefit-forward multi-collagen proteins. So this one's called Rest and Recovery, and it contains herbs for stress management and muscle recovery. So I love it for this time of year. The multi-collagen protein is special. Um, it's different from other brands because it contains five different types of collagen from eggs, bone broth, chicken, fish, and beef. And uh, so it's got collagens types one, two, three, and five, where most brands only have one source and one type of collagen. So it's got a nice spectrum of collagens to choose from. So diet alone is not enough for most people to reach their optimal weight. Regular exercise is a must, plus it's good for your mental health as well as physical. And I say regular exercise because getting into a health-focused routine will make a huge difference in reaching your goals or resolutions. It usually takes most people several weeks, four to six weeks, to create a new routine that will actually last. So in these first few weeks of the new year, if you can stick to your guns for another four weeks, your potentially new healthy choices should stick or at least feel less like a chore and more like a regular aspect of your day-to-day -day life. And making exercise a non-negotiable aspect of your day is also crucial. Uh, whether that's simply taking a walk or maybe doing some stretching or yoga or going to the gym, you can't fail if you make it non-negotiable. Um, make sure you're mixing it up too. If you start to feel bored of one activity, it's best to have a few others to do instead to keep you interested and keep you motivated. So I found that a really important piece of uh, my exercise routine is recovery. So I'm far less likely to keep up with the routine if I'm feeling sore or I'm feeling tired. So I make sure to get a good dose of protein after that so my body has all of those tools to recover quickly. So having protein after exercise also helps you to build lean muscle too. So it's great if you are trying to feel stronger or to lose a little bit of weight. And this is where, I, again, I really like to use this Ancient Nutrition multi-collagen protein and the rest and recovery one is designed just for this. So this particular one has a full dose of collagen, but it's also got ashwagandha, which is a great adaptogen and anti-inflammatory herb. It's also got apple cider vinegar, which is great for weight management and inflammation as well as digestion. It's got magnesium and L-glutamine, which are both great for muscles and for your gut. And then to top it all off, they add a beetroot powder and a tart cherry extract. So both are nitric oxide boosters, which help to deliver all of the other active ingredients throughout your body better, while providing a mega dose of antioxidants. And then the tart cherry extract, fun fact, has some naturally occurring melatonin, so it helps to keep your sleep-wake cycle nice and balanced too. So that's all for now. If you have any tips and tricks to start the new year off right, I would love to hear them. So please drop them in the comments section. I hope you like this video. I hope to hear from you and make sure you tune in for the next one. Thanks. Bye.